right, so tonight's lesson is lesson 92, and we are dividing by two-digit numbers. Um, so when we divide by two-digit numbers, we continue to follow the four steps that we know when we do normal division. So I just wrote on the side for you, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then go up again and start over. Um, but it, sometimes it's just a little bit different when we're dealing with two-digit numbers instead of one. So our first problem is divide 150 by 12. 150 divided by 12. So we're going to go ahead and write that. So it would be, let's do it over here. 150 divided by 12. And you guys know this. If you look at your 12 and you say, okay, can my 12 fit into my 1? You automatically know that that's not going to happen. 12 can't fit into 1. So we're going to look at the next number. Look at that 15. So we can ask ourselves, how many 12s can fit into our 15? And we're going to say 1. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract. 5 minus 2, 3. 1 minus 1, 0. So our subtract. Bring down our next number, 0. So now we have to ask ourselves, how many 12s can fit into 30. So 1 is 12, 2 is 24, and we are almost at 30, so we're going to know that 2 is going to fit. So how many times can our 12, whole 12, fit into our 30? 2 times. 2 times 12 is 24. When we subtract, we get 6. I have nothing left to bring down, so 6 must be my, my remainder. So my answer would be 12 remainder 6. Now we have also put our remainder into a fraction form so it would be 6 over 12 which if we reduced would be 12 and 1 half. Don't forget that you can check your answer. So I'm going to take my answer 12 times 12 take my answer times my divisor and I would get 144 but don't forget I need to add my remainder plus 6. When I do that I get 100 and 50. Okay, so it works. Always go back and check your answer. If you do that, you'll know for sure if you did the problem right or wrong right away, with, before I even get to check it. Alright, and the next one. Divide 32 into 987. If you want to try this by yourself, go ahead and do that. See if you can get it by yourself, and then you can check it with me. Okay. So, um, we look first, obviously 32 is not going to fit into 9, so we know that we're, we're dealing with 98. But kind of a trick when you're like, man, I don't know how many times 32 can fit into 98, you kind of look at your 3, and you look at the 9. You look at your, your 32 as a whole and your 98, but you kind of ask yourself, okay, how many times can 3 fit into 9? 3 can fit into 9 3 times, so maybe 32 can fit into 98 three times. So you, that's how if you have really big numbers, sometimes you can kind of guess, a good, a good guess, um, when you're trying to find out how many times 32, for instance, can fit into 98. So we're going to guess three. So how many times can 32 fit into uh, 98? So we're going to guess three. I'm going to go over here on the side and just do it really fast. 32 times three, three times two, Six, three times three, nine. Okay, we're perfect. So 32 can fit into 98 three times. Three times 32, over here we did, 96. When I subtract, I have two. Now I have two after subtraction, bring down, bring down my seven. Okay, and now I ask myself, how many times can 32 fit into 27? And my answer is what? Zero. So I have to put my 0 up here. 0 times 32 is 0. When I subtract, I get 27. Now I have nothing else to bring down. So 27 is my remainder, and that's okay. I know it's a really big remainder, but it's still smaller than our, di our divisor, so that's okay. Don't forget, you have to go back and check your answer. So if I do 32 times 30, Again, you can do it times 3, offset your 0. Alright, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9, and I have my 0. 
Don't forget, add 27 plus 7, 6 plus 2, 8, 9, 987, 987. Perfect. All right, and we've done these before, so this is just another review, um, just to kind of get you thinking about double dividing by two-digit numbers, because you, you have had some of these in your tests, on your tests. Okay, the next one. A school expects 868 students. I'm going to underline that because that's probably important. The principal wants to have 24 students and one teacher per classroom. About how many teachers are going to be needed for this school? So we're going to have to take 868 students and divide them into 24 groups. But when we have numbers like these, sometimes what we need to do is turn them into compatible numbers. So we need to find two numbers that uh, 868 and 24 can kind of work with. So 868, I'm going to write that down, 868 and 24. So 24 is almost 25, and 25 is a good number to work with. Also, I mean, we could round 24 down to 20, which is a good number as well, but 24 is closer to 25. When we look at 868, a compatible number that works with 25, we would say 875. And when we work with 875, let's think it as 800 plus 75. So now we have to ask ourselves, how many 25s can fit into 800 and how many 25s can fit into 75? Well, 75 is the easy one. We know that 3 can fit in, okay? But what we have to find out is how many um, can fit into 4 or 800. So what we need to think about is for every 100, when we have 100, we have 4 25s, okay? So basically, every 100 we have 4, but we have 8 here. So I would do a quick 8 times 4, which equals 32. I would add my 3 then, and then I would get 35. So the answer would be about 35 teachers. Sure, could you have done the normal division and, and gotten your answer? Yes. But sometimes we can do this in our head or do this much quicker if we um, use compatible numbers to help us with, with our problems. So what I did is I rounded 868 to 875, 24 to 25. Then I broke 875 into 800 and 75, and then I found out how many 25s could easily fit into both of those numbers. And we just used the fact that in 100, four 25s can fit. And since we have 8, we multiply 8 by 4 to get 32. Then we know we have 3 25s and 75, so we add 32 plus 3 to get about 35 teachers this school is going to need for around 868 students. All right, and here's your lesson practice. 403 divided by 31, 253 divided by 12, and 510 divided by 23.